You and I both know that users' successes online are largely the result of good design. When users are easily able to complete tasks on the web, they like to call a design intuitive or user-friendly, and they tend to feel pretty good about themselves when they've figured it out. And this makes sense, because people love to take credit for their successes. When something goes our way, we tend to feel smart and attribute our success to the effort we've made. This is why when your kid is well-behaved, of course, it's because you're such a great parent, right? When things don't go well in life, people like to shift the blame onto someone else. When your kid is throwing a tantrum, oh, it's not because you're a bad parent, it's because they're just not feeling well, or they're just tired. This tendency to take the credit for your successes, but blame something else for your failures, is actually a common pattern described in psychology. It's called the fundamental attribution error. Now, let's consider how users react when they can't figure something out online. One reaction we see, especially in usability testing, is that users can feel a bit dumb and blame themselves when a task proves difficult. But that makes sense, because people would obviously feel dumb and self-conscious while a smart researcher gives them an unfamiliar design, tells them to perform a specific task, and then quietly watches while they struggle to figure things out. That can be a lot of pressure. That's why we take so much care to reassure people that we're evaluating the design, not their intelligence. The other outcome that emerges when users are struggling might be more relatable to your personal experience. Picture someone sitting at home, struggling to order something online from some company. They're trying to navigate this dumb website and just get their order placed without it taking 20 minutes. As they become increasingly frustrated, they might start thinking, ah, this website is just so confusing. You ever been there? If only this company could just make things more intuitive. People don't naturally want to take blame when they feel stupid or incompetent or when they're failing. They want to put it on something else, and that often ends to fall on the brand or the designer. Now, it might sound a bit conceited, but often that's just how we are. The point of this video is that this fundamental attribution error prevents the world from fully appreciating the work of good designers. The easier your designs are to use, the less likely it is that the user will give you the credit, because they feel smart and proud of themselves for figuring things out. Now, on the flip side, this also means that we can start taking the blame for users who struggle. The work we do can be both challenging and thankless at times. For this reason, we want to tell you thank you. We see your efforts, and we know that you are to thank for many of the successes users have online, even though they're taking most of the credit. We are grateful for the chance to help you do important UX work. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.